The possibility of active faults under nuclear plants and the accident in Fukushima last year have prompted many Japanese to question the use of atomic energy. The former government said it would aim to take all reactors offline within a couple of decades. But now a new government is in power, and it's promising a different approach. NHK World's Kaho Izumitani reports. Prime Minister Abe is putting everything on the table when it comes to Japan's energy policy. He and members of his administration have indicated they will explore possibilities, including restarting nuclear reactors. We need to decide our energy policy based on technical assessments. We will not start with the conclusion of halting nuclear power generation by the 2030s. The previous administration, led by former Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda, drafted an energy policy that stated the government would aim to shut down all nuclear plants by the 2030s. Before last year's accident in Fukushima, nuclear power accounted for 26% of the total energy supply in Japan. Currently, only two out of 50 reactors in the country are online, adding a mere 3% to the supply. Fossil fuels are taking up the slack. Utilities are paying more to import LNG or liquefied natural gas to fire thermal plants. Many of them are planning to raise electricity rates to make up for losses. Japanese aren't happy about that. And they're also anxious to hear about their new government's energy plans. We have 50 nuclear reactors in Japan. We should start decommissioning the ones we can over the next three years. I'm from Fukushima, so although I want to decommission the nuclear power plants, I know it's hard for the community to live without them. I don't care how long it takes. I want to hear a safe and long-lasting energy policy. The Abe administration also needs to define the legal role of the Nuclear Regulation Authority created by the former government. The NRA oversees nuclear safety, but the full extent of its power and independence is unclear. We'll check whether nuclear plants satisfy safety standards. But it's up to the utilities and the government to decide whether or not to restart facilities. Prime Minister Abe's energy pledges currently lack detail. He says he will decide within three years whether to restart reactors. But he doesn't explain why he needs that much time. Nor does he explain who will bear the cost of decommissioning nuclear plants, if that happens. And he also hasn't outlined a time frame and budget to expand the renewable energy market. The most important issue is to restore governance on nuclear safety. It is a chance for Japan to rebuild trust. The new administration should swiftly present a clear direction. They need to quickly state the energy portfolio and decide on the use of nuclear energy in the first half of next year. People in Japan are frustrated because they don't know where their country's energy policy is headed and what the future holds for nuclear power. They want clarity. Prime Minister Abe's decision on this issue will face plenty of scrutiny and will be among the first of many tests for his administration. Kaho Izumitani, NHK World, Tokyo.